Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Lindsay and as you can tell from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing my honest review of the Whitney Simmons Times Gymshark Collection Volume 2. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you everything I picked up from the collection, which, a little disclaimer, it's not that much because we all know how Gymshark launches can go. So we will get into that a little bit later. We are going to get into all of it because I have a lot to say, okay? I have a lot to say about the collection itself, the launch, the material, the campaign, the good, the bad, the ugly. We are going to be covering it all today. Let's just start off by saying I love Gymshark. Half of my wardrobe is probably Gymshark. I have an entire collection. I will link that up here and in the description box if you wanna check it out. But I have probably over, definitely over $3,500 worth of Gymshark clothes and it just keeps going on. I love them as a brand. I always feel cute and confident in their clothes, especially when I go to the gym. So I just, I love their brand as a whole. And the whole reason I got into Gymshark is from Whitney Simmons. When I first started getting getting into lifting and you know doing the weights and all that stuff I had absolutely no idea what I was doing so I researched I would go on YouTube a bunch and type in booty workouts for beginners or booty workouts for girls and of course the booty workout queen Whitney Simmons would pop up and I just started watching her videos and taking her exercises and doing them at the gym and I just grew to love her as a person and her YouTube channel I just love Whitney Simmons I love what she stands for you know it's a beautiful day to be alive she's for mental health, she's for physical health, she's all around being a great person. So that being said, I was so excited for this collection, especially because I missed out on volume one. As you know, Gymshark launches, if you're not in there in the first two minutes of the launch, you're not gonna get anything. So I didn't end up picking anything up from volume one of the Whitney Simmons Times Gymshark collection, but this time I knew I needed to get something and I knew I needed to get something, especially because of the colorways. The colorways in the first collection were great, like the beautiful blue color and the pink, they're all really beautiful. I even picked up the V2 beautiful blue color, which I'll show you, but the colorways in this collection, the Amazon green color, the, the cherry brown, like it was just all so beautiful. So I knew I wanted to pick something up from this collection to one, support Whitney Simmons and Gymshark and to two, review it for you guys. Like that's why I'm doing this mostly is so that you guys can see an honest review that's not from a Gymshark affiliate because you know that they are not getting paid for it, but they're also not gonna be like, this sucks and not get any more Gymshark clothes sent to them. You know what I mean? So this is my honest review for you guys. Slowly kisses, busting by the river. All right, guys, let's talk about the big giant elephant in the room, which would be the launch. The launch of any Gymshark collection is, I wouldn't say a failure, but it just doesn't go well between not having enough stock on their website and the checkout process is just stupid, plain out stupid. That's the only word I can describe it. You put your things in the cart and then when you go to check out, it says, oops, sold out, sorry try next time. So that's basically how this launch went. Every time I go into a Gymshark launch, I'm like, oh, it's it's gonna be different this time. Like they're not gonna sell out. They're gonna have everything in stock. I'm gonna be able to take my time and then check out, but no. Black Friday sale, their annual birthday sale or whatever. And this launch with Whitney Simmons, it's just everything sells out. So that was a little disappointing. And it was even more disappointing because I'm not gonna blame Whitney Simmons by any means. Like I love her, do you, boo, whatever. But she did mention that this time around there was a bunch more stock and especially because they weren't doing pop-ups this time around because of COVID they couldn't so all of the stock from the pop-ups was going to go directly on the website for purchase for the customers and they sold out I wouldn't say they sold out everything in minutes but you know the top sellers that everyone wanted like the cherry brown which I wanted. I wanted that brown set so bad. And the Amazon green color, which is drop dead gorgeous. And I really wanted it, but I'm not gonna dwell on it because I have an inkling that last time she really stressed that once it's gone, it's gone forever. Like you're never gonna get it back. But this time she was just like, I'm gonna really try for Gymshark to bring it back, you know? So I feel like they're definitely gonna have like a launch maybe after Christmas time and have a restock of it. So I'm really not dwelling on it that much because in my heart, I know I'm gonna get those colors eventually, but all of those colors sold out 
within minutes. I had them in my cart, the brown and the green. Had them in my cart, went to check out, and it really, I wasn't lollygagging on the website, you know? Like, I got in there, looked on stuff, and was probably checked out within 10 minutes. Because I know that, you know, even if it's in your cart and you check out, sometimes it sells out. And that was the case. I went to check out, and the green set, the brown set, it all sold out. So my big question is, why was there not as much stock as, you know, what they were putting in your head? They were saying, this launch is going to be different. Everything is going to be more stock, which I'm not going to say that they lied about because I checked maybe even a day after and they still had some colorways available. They knew that the green and the brown were going to be a popular colorway just from their social media. Like everyone was commenting like, oh my God, those colors are absolutely drop dead gorgeous. So I don't know. It's just Gymshark. I don't know. They just won't learn to stock up their page and have their checkout system be a little bit better. You know, hopefully it will change, but I just don't think it ever will. And naive little Lindsay always thinks that their launches are going to go way better than it did last time. And it's usually the same shitty checkout and launch. So I'm not going to blame that on Whitney Simmons. That's kind of out of her control because it's not her company. So I will say that the launch didn't go right, but we all expected it to go pretty shitty. So so with that being said, we all know that I wanted the green and the brown, didn't get it, but the colorways that I did get, I do enjoy, and I'm glad that I got them so that I can, you know, try the collection, see what I like, see what I don't like. It really did help. So the colorways that I did get are the beautiful blue sports bra and uh, high rise legging. And then I also got the black sports bra with the black ribbed high waisted legging, the one that's ribbed. And then I also got the ribbed uh, legging in the moss green color. So let's just start off with pricing okay Slowly kisses, busting by the river. so the sports bras are forty dollars which a little steep not to mention because i like them they're great i love the material of them i love the open back but they're not like my absolute die hard favorite sports bras so forty dollars for a sports bra is a little much in my opinion especially because i'm not saying gymshark trademarked themselves for being an affordable brand but way back when that their sports bras weren't 40 50 60 dollars a pop you know what i mean so i don't know i think 40 dollars is a little bit overpriced but you are getting great material you're getting you know the keyhole detail and the little ring and you know the little beautiful day to be alive written on it so for me i don't mind spending the 40 dollars for the sports bra but the average person that you know isn't a whitney simmons fan is just starting to buy from gymshark that's a little pricey for me but let's talk the pricing of the leggings the leggings i think the high-rise leggings is very reasonably priced 50 dollars for this legging the material is super soft it's kind of like an aligned material from lululemon if you're familiar with it so the material is super nice and i think 50 dollars for the amount of detail you get you get the scrunch bum you get the like laser cut detail the beautiful day to be alive the whitney simmons it's very reasonably priced 50 dollars i think is a really good price for it but let's talk about the rib leggings which I like them, don't get me wrong, they're they're really nice, but $60? It's a little much for basically the only difference in my opinion is the ribbed detailing and the little ankle thing. So I don't know, for those two minor details to be changed and it be bumped up to $60 is a little ridiculous to me. I don't know, I think that they could have kept it 50 across the board and it would have been a little bit easier price. And I think the sports bras could have went down a little bit to like maybe $35 is a reasonable price. I mean, I know $5 big whoop, but I mean, it's a, it's a big difference if you're getting a lot of the collection. Like let's say I got five sports bras, $5 really translates when you're getting, you know, 20, 30, $40 less. So pricing is okay. Slowly kisses, busting by the river. All right, let's talk about sizing a little bit. So for this collection, I went completely with um, size small for everything except for the black leggings. I think the sports bra is small fit absolutely amazing on me. Small for the leggings, not so much. The only reason that I went with a small for leggings for most of them is because on Whitney Simmons, I think her YouTube video and Instagram, she said for sizing to definitely not go up a size. If you're in between sizes, she would size down. So I'm usually between a small and medium. So I went with the small because she said not to size up. I'm not blaming you Whitney, but I went with the small and I'm kicking myself in the ass because I wish I went with the medium. For reference, I'm usually I'm a small and most 
most Gymshark clothes. I go for small in sports bras no matter what because I just have no boobs and small always fits me. But for leggings, the for example, the Camos collection, I go with a small. The Energy Seamless, I go with a small. The only thing that I go for medium for is flex. So I would say I am in between sizes and that's why I went with a size small. So I'm kicking myself in the ass because I wish I went with the medium for all because the medium black leggings fit like a freaking dream. Next time, if this collection does come back, which I hope it will, I think it will, I'm definitely going to be picking up mediums for the bottoms and small for the tops. Lonely kisses busting by the river let's talk about the sports bra. I really do love the sports bra. I like it a lot, honestly. The material is buttery soft, just like the leggings. It's that Lululemon-esque material where if you've had Lululemon aligned, you'll know. It's just like a buttery soft material. It's a dream, honestly. <laughs> it's so soft. I love how low it goes. It's like the perfect scoop. So it makes your boobs look nice and perky. It pushes it up and it really does make you look like you have boobs. And for someone that has such small boobs like I do, do, I need all the help I can get. So this really does make them look nice. Even if you don't have anything, it makes you look like you have a little something something, which I love. I absolutely love the back detailing. It has this little keyhole part and a little opening and it just looks so good. It makes your back look really nice. And I just got this tattoo on my back and it, it makes it look so good. I just absolutely love it. And yeah, I really do like the sports bra. The only things that I don't really like is how wide the straps are. I feel like because they're so wide it makes like this little armpit parts like ooze out. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it where like your armpit fat is just showing a little bit more which I don't really like because I feel like in any other sports bra you can't really tell that I have armpit fat like I didn't even know I had it until I wore this so that part I don't really love and I also don't really like this is me being nitpicky but I like when sports bras are a little bit longer. That makes sense. Like the camo collection, that sports bra goes like a little bit lower. Like it almost goes to like near your belly button. I don't know if it's just because I have really high hips. So my torso is pretty short. So I don't know if it's that, but that, that sports bra is my favorite. Like I'll wear the camo collection sports bra and legging just to the gym. But this one, I don't feel as comfortable because it's not as long. So it does show more of my torso and my belly which i'm not really for so i do wish it was like a little bit longer if that makes sense i feel like you'll see it more on the try on but overall it's a really nice sports bra i really do love it it's super soft i just I don't really think it's worth $40. It's not like my absolute diehard favorite sports bra. So I feel like I wouldn't just spend $40 on the entire collection of sports bras. You know what I mean? Like I just find sports bras in my collection that would go with it, but I do like it. I'm going to wear it a bunch because I own it. So I do like it. And I will show you the, the black sports bra. It's the absolute same. <laughs> it's the same material, same softness. I do like how it's a gold bar. Um, this one is gold as well, but I feel like you can't really see it because it's blue. I don't know. It pops more with the black. I do like the black as well. I feel like I would wear the black a little bit more. I like the gold detailing. I'm more of a gold girl. I like gold accessories, I feel like. So So overall, I do like the sports bras. I'm going to use them. I don't think they're worth that much money, but I do like them and I'm going to be wearing them a bunch. So I would recommend the sports bras if you know you want to support Whitney Simmons and Gymshark, but it's not like you need the sports bra, go out and buy it now. It's like, meh, it's all right, you know? Kisses, busting by the river. The high rise leggings. I only have the high rise legging in this beautiful blue color, which I absolutely love. It's again, that buttery soft material, like the Lululemon Align. It's literally the closest legging that I've ever owned that's close to Lululemon Aligns. And they are my absolute favorite leggings from Lululemon. Like I have probably like six or seven Lululemon Aligns. They're my absolute favorites. So that being said, I absolutely love these leggings and the material. And they do have that same like stretch that Lululemons have. That's like the most similar legging I can compare these to. I love the detailing of it. I love the scrunch bum. I think it's super cute. The laser cut detailing is super nice. It's like, it's a nice height. I wish it was like a little bit more high rise on me, but I think it's because truly I needed a medium in all the leggings, but I got a small. But I wish I got this in a medium because I feel like it would have fit a little bit better on me as like 
high rise and length goes. For leg, I'm 5'10", so any legging or pant on me never hits me where I want it to. So these are 7th 8th leggings, so they are like a little bit shorter on me, but I really don't mind because I'm used to it because I'm so tall and I never really have a true legging that fits my length. But I don't mind the length. It is, you know, average. Um, the detailing's super beautiful. I really do like this Whitney Simmons. The only thing is I have worn these a couple times and it already is kind of lifting the little um, emblem, plastic emblem thing. So I don't know how well they'll hold up if I wash them a bunch because it's already lifting and I've only worn them twice. So I don't know if they'll stay on, which, you know, it's whatever. You probably won't even be able to see it once it comes off and it's very minimal branding. So I do like that. The only thing I will say, I'm not gonna say these are cheaply made at all because the material is very nice. I know it's like an expensive material. I just have worn these a couple times, twice, and it's already fraying. I don't know if you can see. It's, f you, yeah, there you can see it. It's fraying a lot. Like the um, seams are coming undone, I guess. I don't really know, but I have to like trim it with scissors so that it stops fraying. And the material, if you have Lululemon Alliance, you will know this, that it collects any kind of fabric. Like I was at the gym and I was just like, doing this and trying to get like the little fuzzies off my leggings because they like collect it. It's like attracted to it, which I really don't care because I'm used to the Lululemon Alliance and that's just like this. But all in all, I really do like the leggings. They are squat proof. You'll see in the try on that they are squat proof. Um, I don't wear underwear to the gym. I've said this once before. I don't enjoy wearing underwear to the gym, so I just don't do it. It's squat proof without underwear, so I don't know how it holds up with underwear on, but it is squat proof. I wouldn't wear these on a leg day by any means because it's a lighter material so it does show your sweat marks like I wore these on like a light arm day I was doing shoulders and I was just sitting doing dumbbell press and when I got up you could see in the mirror that I have like a line on my crotch from sitting like right here and it was a sweat mark and I was like oh my god that's so embarrassing like what the heck I wasn't even sweating like literally wasn't sweating that much at all that I would have a sweat mark so they do show sweat marks I like them a lot I wish if I had them in the darker colors, like the green and the brown, I feel like I would like it a little bit more. But this color is beautiful, and if you're just wearing it on a leg day, I feel like it holds up. It doesn't show as much sweat marks. I just wouldn't dare wearing it on a leg day where I'm sweating my ass off, literally. So overall, I think they're a good pair of leggings. Is there improvements that could be made to these leggings? Absolutely, but I think they're good. I'm glad I got them. They're money well spent, so I will definitely be wearing them a bunch. Slowly kisses, passing by the river. So we talked about the sports bra, we talked about the high rise leggings. The only other item that I picked up from the collection is the ribbed legging. So I got the ribbed legging in the moss green color and I also got it in the black color. So to start off, um, I really wish that I got all the leggings in a medium, like I said before. These black leggings fit like a freaking dream. Like I wish I got them all in a medium, they are like, a better length on me because they're they go a little bit longer these ones are almost i don't want to say capris on me but they're they're pretty dang short and these ones go a little bit longer they've got a nice stretch to them the green ones i almost can't get over my hips like they just almost don't get over my hips because they're so small in the the waist part these fit great um i do like the rib because it sucks you in the detailing the gold and the black it just makes it pop i absolutely love it it's just a light whitney simmons this one isn't coming off as much as the blue one but i've only worn these once so only time will tell the scrunch bum oh baby wow it just goes right up there it makes you look like you have two cheeks instead of just one diaper looking cheek. Not that booties look like diapers with regular leggings, but I just love the scrunch bra. It makes your cheeks look real good. And I absolutely love the ankle detailing. Actually, I mean, it's nice if it wasn't like, I don't notice it with the other high rise leggings. Like I think it's cute still, but I just think it's a nice little detail that it's a scrunch ankle. It makes your ankles look cute. Makes your shoes pop if you're wearing like a cool shoe. It's super buttery soft. It's more, it's Lululemon line esque but it's more like if you've ever had the Gymshark laser cuts tights from them, it's more like a cross between the Lululemon line and the laser cut tights from Gymshark. So it's that material, but it's a little bit more stretched to it. So yeah, I actually prefer these leggings a little bit more if only they were in a medium. I'd like these like a million times more, but I do like the material. They are squat proof, obviously. Um, the black, I can't really tell the cellulite in it, the green. 
you can see cellulite I didn't even know I had. So <laughs> I don't know if maybe it's just the green color that makes it pop a little bit more, but can't tell in the black version, any cellulite, any sweat marks at all. If I had the other colors in the dark, you probably couldn't even tell about sweat marks because you can't tell at all in these. The green, you can tell sweat marks. I did wear these for an arm day. And again, I got up from sitting, doing whatever I was doing that day. And you could see the sweat marks in like just the crotch area really. So that makes me, you know, steer away from these ones. They're not like my absolute favorite. Like the black die hard. Like I'd recommend these to anyone. They're really great. They're a great pair of black leggings. And the only reason I went up a size in these and, and didn't get small is one, because medium was in stock. And two, because I know that black leggings for some reason run a little bit smaller sometimes. Like I always get a size medium in Gymshark black leggings. I just, I don't know. I heard from... I can't remember who, but I just heard that Gymshark black leggings run a little bit smaller than others. So I just always have gotten a medium in them. So I'm so glad I did because if I got small in these, they would not have fit at all. They wouldn't have been over my hips, no shot. So these ones are okay. The green ones are probably my least favorite out of the three that I have, especially because I think it's maybe just the small, but I feel like the ribbed part, it like, I don't know, it like the seam goes over it. I don't even know how to describe it. It just like doesn't sit snug to my body. It like looks cockeyed for some reason. I don't know. And yeah, the green color just isn't my favorite. It shows a lot of cellulite. It's not that long on my ankles. It's really tight. Yeah, I mean, I like them. I'm going to wear them because I don't have any color like this in my collection. That's, you know, what steers me to it is I don't have a light, like green color in my collection at all. And I really like the color. I can get over the sizing. They'll probably stretch out over time, but not my favorite. My absolute favorite. I like them. <laughs> Slowly kisses, busting by the river. So overall, I do love the things that I picked up. I think this collection is really great. I like everything that I picked up. The sports bra, I really like. It's definitely nice, you know, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, you have to buy it right now, go out and get it. Like, I like it. It's not my absolute diehard favorite, but I definitely will wear it. And I think it looks cute. And I love the back and the boob detailing. So definitely like the sports bra. As far as leggings go, the ribbed legging, I do like. I love the black one. Green is like, my least favorite out of all of them, but it's, I think it's mainly because it's the wrong size for me and it's a lighter color, so it does show a lot. For the high-rise leggings, I think that's the type that I would probably get if I get any more colors from this collection because I just love the way it fits. I would definitely get in a medium instead of a small because I am just a medium in the Whitney Simmons collection, I have decided. <laughs> but I would definitely get it in a medium. I do love it. I love the material. I love how soft it is. The scrunch bum, the uh, little branding the beautiful day to be alive I just I love the branding so yeah overall I do love this collection I'm happy with everything that I picked up I'm super happy for Whitney Simmons you know do you girl this collection was really great the material everything she did a really great job with picking the material making the design styling it, everything and the only thing that really struggled in this collection was the launch which I mean we all knew it was gonna be a shit show so can't really blame her for the launch going so poorly because it's Gymshark. That's just honestly what they're known for is a shitty launch. Not a, I wouldn't even say shitty launch, just stupid launch. Like stupid because you didn't have enough stock. Stupid because the checkout process is crazy. I don't know. If I was them, I would just restock and keep the collection going because it's honestly one of their better collections that they have on their page right now. So if they were smart, they would definitely bring this collection back and keep it going and hopefully make it permanent because I need that green color and I need that brown color, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Please leave a comment down below of what you picked up from the Gymshark Whitney Simmons collection or what what you really want and what you hope they restock. I love hearing from you guys. I love the comments. It's super fun to interact with you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out my channel. I do have a Gymshark entire collection video on my channel, which if you like this video, definitely go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah.